This special program to celebrate the 100th birthday of Sir Derwood Knowles is brought to you by Nassau Harbor Pilots Association, Blanco Chemicals Limited, Dozer Heavy Equipment, JBR Building Supplies Limited, Ribena, Nassau Paper Company Limited, the Dalbanus Agency Limited, Ganite Pools of Nassau, NUA Insurance Agents and Brokers, Nassau Yacht Club, Master Technicians, the Free National Movement, and LJM Maritime Academy. Hello everyone, I'm Wendell Jones and we welcome you to this special program as we celebrate the 100th birthday of a national hero in the Bahamas. Sir David Knowles, who was born on the 2nd of November, 1917, the oldest Olympian in the world. And uh, he has won a gold medal for the Bahamas in 1964. And he made Bahamians very proud on numerous occasions. And today we are so happy to be celebrating the 100th birthday, not only of an Olympian, but out of an outstanding Bahamian. Sir David Knowles, it's good to see you. Man, it's good to see you. <laughs> I don't think I, 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 I met you before. Yes. Yes. We, we, we have spoken on radio programs before, but we have not done a television program like I this. I see. Now you're straight. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing exceptionally well. The only thing I, I don't like the the lay the lay by way I live. I live with my bed on a straight straight down bed. I've been in a bed like every day. So straight from out of the bed, you just relax all day. Yeah, I relax all day. Yeah, and you you've been active for for most of your life. And so it doesn't feel good to 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 be you, inactive. You, you you got it, man. You got it. You you you, you be active all your life until I had an accident, and that that ruined my day. Yes, uh, that accident happened a few years ago. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. And but I cannot walk, walk as you as you would like to walk, mm -hmm. and uh, so. Consequently, I have a gentleman here. He goes down, massages me every day, and anything that's necessary he does to me. <laughs> but um, therefore, my uh, subject in, in, in life right now is to learn how to walk. To learn how to walk again. Yeah, and that's something. Well, you know, you are in these uh, very comfortable circumstances. You're overlooking the, the harbor here and, and uh, Lady Knowles and your family taking very good care of you, I'm sure. Yeah, they like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing all right. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're, my yeah. wife is up and down all day. Once she kisses me in the morning, I can last for the whole of the day. Once you get a kiss in the morning, yeah. it lasts for the whole day. I wanted to hear that. Okay, yeah. very good. Well, you've been married for 70 years. Yeah. I think you were married in 1947. 47. Eh? Yeah, yeah, 47. That's, that's a long time. But tell us about your early days. Uh, you, you were actually born um, near the sea. Uh, they call you Sea Wolf, right? Yeah. Often in Spain. Mm. Yeah. I, I separate from the boats if I'm not going fast enough. And I separate from them to get a better lead. Than find. So consequently, uh, that talk away paid off two or three times. And the, 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 the newspaper put it in the Sea Wolf hit it again. The sea wolf hit it again. Yeah, I went, went so far and came back and I had to run in, in the right direction. Mm. Uh, and then the newspaper came out and the sea, sea wolf hit it again. So I came back with that sea, sea wolf nickname, nickname. And uh, the American shop 
he, he, he was, he was uh, said, I got the album knows, hit it again. <laughs> so it was, it hit me with the sea wolf. Mm. You know, I, I, I believe a whole lot of Bahamians uh, would be interested in your youthful days, uh, growing up uh, as you did. Um, like you say, you were born on Bay Street, where Lightburn Marine uh, yeah. is now. Yeah. Um, that's where you were born, eh? That's right. Uh, so tell us about those days, your family, your siblings. <laughs> well, uh, I, I was born in a huge three-story house I don't know where the Marine is places. And I, I hope that a lot of people realize that and find out where I was born. I um, hit, hit that I, I was born in Port Lane and grew up there. But actually, I was born on Bay Street, mm. the three story house. The first child was born there. First, my father's. First child and the first boy, and uh, so naturally, it was a great occasion mm -hmm. to have the first boy there. Everything he had before was girls. Okay. Yeah. So um, that started the, the trend of what what you can do with a boy, and. Uh, it was very excitable for me as I grew up to the only only boy in the crowd, and uh, so I was very excited to, to to be among the girls, but very excited because I was the only boy there, and uh, that put me in a, in a position of being kind of excited, uh, being among the girls, but you know, be, be the only boy you, I can show you how to live. Mm. So consequently, that paid off with, with, the, with, the, with the girls. They had a brother now. Yes. So, and then you had some other brothers? And then the second wife. Okay. My wife, my mother died when I was four years old. Okay. And, uh, and my father married again about 10 years later. later. He married a girl from Spanish Wells. We visited Spanish Wells quite often. And uh, consequently, uh, he had all boys this time. Mm. All boys. And consequently, we, we, we got along exceptionally well. Especially the day my uh, uh, second brother was Pussy, Pussy Dolls. He works. Uh, Solomon Brothers, I think. Mm -hmm. no. yes. well, they, they run their own shop now. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. But he used to be the Solomon Brothers for many years. Correct. You remember, right? right? Yes, I remember him well. Yes. Yeah. And so your, your, your boyhood days, you was uh, really spent around the sea? Around the sea. Yes, around the sea. As they come out, out, out of the house and right across the street was the water. And I was... <laughs> Consequently, uh, and, and, and in touch with the water all my growing up days. No. How did you, um, well, you got into sailing as a result of being very uh, close to the sea, but you obviously um, mastered the art of sailing. Um, you must have had some people around you who taught you how to do that. I'm uh, glad you brought that up. Uh, I, I didn't master it by myself. Mm. I, I grew up with my father being a sailor. He, he, he built a starboat in the yard along with Charlie Monroe, a guy named. And consequently, I followed his footsteps step by step. And he. He didn't know what I was watching, but I, I followed his footsteps every, every step he made. And uh, I, I learned actually the, the art of sailing through him, and that paid off. He, uh, was he a boat builder as well? No, no, but he got very, very friendly with a chap by the name of Charlie Monroe. Mm. 
and they were very friendly and he used to watch them build a boat right in the, right the yard. And they named the boat Sandy Mark. When, when did you start sailing competitively? I mean, in, in international events, that sort of thing? About 1929. Mm -hmm. 1929? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was, you were, you were a little boy at the time. Because you were born in 1917. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got married and moved out of, moved out of Bay Street. You would be surprised. I spent my honeymoon. And she's right here now. Where was that? Where did you spend your honeymoon? Honeymoon. We went to Spanish Wells. Spanish Wells. Right, yeah, right, right. And um, then we lived in a small cottage called Wilton College, right on Bay Street. And uh, we all got along fine. And uh, we still tell together. And she's right here now, she could contradict it, but we got it all right. Yes. And uh, anyway, we went to Spanish Wells and we walked about the late to Spanish Wells to buy a Coca Cola or a Cracker Jack. Hey, you brought me all this way for a cracker jack. I said, you're lucky. This is what you get right now. <laughs> <laughs> she thought she had a good take. She didn't know <laughs> what she was in for. She got a Coca-Cola and a cracker jack on her honeymoon. That's correct. That's what she was in for. But <laughs> she learned to live on the one more she could get. yet. And uh, anyway. So you, you, you went to you went to school where QC? QC. QC. Uh, and I guess most of your um, schoolmates are no longer with us. Uh, you are probably the last among them, eh? I, I guess I guess so. Uh, and uh, <laughs> they, they separated. We, we all separate one the other. QC, QC. And I've not really stayed with QC. I was director of the QC Foundation and gave them a lot of service. And they were prepared to make me director of QC Foundation. And uh, Charles Sweden put me in charge of the foundation itself. So it, it had each of us. Mm-hmm. When you were growing up, what was your ambition? What did you want to do as a, as a young man? Pilot. You wanted to be a pilot? Pilot. <laughs> and it worked so, out that way. Uh, 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 you, you did some piloting uh, on, on, on the seas, but you wanted actually to be a, be a pilot. To run, to, to fly a plane? No, 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 to run a boat. Oh, to run a boat. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't like planes. And, uh, and you, you, you actually became a pilot? Yes. Pilot <laughs> again, I, I was pilot for 50 years. For 50 years? For 50 years. And then I had enough of that. And as I served as pilot for 50 years, I more or less served out in the right way. And uh, so after serving up for 50 years, I moved on here and there, 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 there. So I moved out, or actually piloted, but I moved on to other things but remained closely associated with the pilots. And even today, 
I moved from the, the dock to the pilot's office. I see. So, yeah. So in those 50 years, you brought a whole lot of huge uh, ships into the harbor. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. And then, and then the pilots had an office right where Rubus Station is now. Yes. Right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that remained my office also. And today it's an interesting office. I mean, um, so one of these days, we're uh, not too busy. It'd be nice to go, go up there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell me, um, you you might, might remember some of the memorable uh, ships that you guided into into the into the harbor. Uh, some of them, I guess, uh, had royalty on them, eh? Yeah, the ro Royal Yacht. I happen to pilot her right out. The, the Royal Yacht Britannia. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now I remember that distinctly. Being a pilot on her, along with Duke of Edinburgh, my partner, I, got, I had a lot of interest in, in things and being, and we sailed together. I can show you a picture of that, but anyway, mm. I, I. You actually sailed with Prince Philip. Oh yeah, I got a picture of that one now, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I was up in the bow sailing crew for him, and he and the stern sailed the boat. And he cost some people to tell him, man. <laughs> he, he needs to come around here and get your car down, man. Right <laughs> oh, he's got, he's a custom to no end. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, uh, he is a, a little younger than you are. I think he's about 96 or something such. And uh, you're 100. So, um, yeah. and you're still, 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 still going. Uh, when we return on the program, I want to talk about um, sailing and um, your participation in the various Olympic Games. Um, I think you started in the 50s and ended in 88 or th thereabouts. Let's take this break here on our program. This is a special tribute to the 100th birthday of Sir Derwitt Knowles. We'll come right back. This special program to celebrate the 100th birthday of Sir Derwitt Knowles has been brought to you by Nassau Harbor Pilots Association, Blanco Chemicals Limited, Dozer Heavy Equipment, JBR Building Supplies, Ribena, Nassau Paper Company Limited, the Dalbinus Agency Limited, Ganite Pools of Nassau, NUA Insurance Agents and Brokers, Nassau Yacht Club, Master Technicians, the Free National Movement, and LJM Maritime Academy.